Welcome to another edition of Faherty Up Close from a Distance. My guest today is an old, old friend of mine. Well, he's not that old. He turned 59, I think, recently. So he's, well, three years younger than me. But he's a star of TV and film. He's one of the great, great comics, George Lopez. George, uh, thanks for joining me. It's great to see you, buddy. Where are you? I'm in my house in Los Angeles. Uh, and, um, you know, the, this, this area here, I'm not sure if they've ever fully embraced the mask and social distancing. It's a very right. affluent area. There are very few Hispanics who live in this area. So I'm very comfortable when they walk by and they're not wearing masks to yell out in Spanish, Vasa matar a todos, cabrones, which means you're going to kill us all. And they might, they don't know it's me. Hey, um, tell me uh, about how you got into golf. I know there's a story about, uh, you know, when, when you were growing up, uh, there was a seven iron in, in, in the house. What was that for? The seven iron was for, if we ever heard a noise, you know, my grandfather grabbed the seven iron and it was used to keep the dog in the backyard. There was a side gate and the dog would push on the door and my grandmother got the seven iron and put it between the block wall and the fence and the dog couldn't get past the seven iron. So golf was more of a tool than a club. It was more of a it was more of a security protector than it was something you want to hit 150. And then in, I started playing on Christmas Day of 81 on a dare. My friend Ernie said to me, hey, uh, let's go play golf. I'm like, where? Man, El Carrizo up there somewhere. He says, they're probably, probably closed. No, I called them. They're, they're open. So we went over there. We rented clubs and at El Carrizo, that time, I guess the selling alcoholic beverage to minors was, was not enforced. So we got four silver bullets each and went and we missed the ball. We laughed. We hit it in the water. We talked to each other's backswings. We didn't know what a putter was. And, you know, that day I never put a club down. And I don't think I ever attached myself to something this long that, uh, that, for, that from a first impression made on me, you know? Yeah. Uh, so, you know, growing up, you know, in the, the neighborhood there with your, your grandmother and your grandfather and getting interested in golf, uh, that are, what was it like for you to meet Lee Trevino for the first time? Oh, well, you know, I, I met, you know, you see the, you know who Herman is, you know, the hole in one at the Toyota thing, you know, the La Victoria, he was an announcer with Vince Scully. Vince Scully was Dodgers. Lee Trevino and Vince Scully were an amazing pair of announcers together. And you know uh, that Lee Trevino is a champion. I saw the snake with Nicholas. So Andy yeah. Garcia was supposed to play with Lee at the Valencia Championship Tour over there by Magic Mountain in California. And then Andy calls me the day before. He's like, hey, George, I can't, I can't play with Lee. You think you can fill in <laughs> and play tomorrow with Lee? So I said, absolutely. I'm going to put a red shirt on. I'm going to wear black pants. I'm going to put a Band-Aid on my arm right here, like him at the U.S. Open, with my black shoes. And and you heard that he was kind of grouchy, that he could be standoffish. So all of a sudden, the closer I get to the range, I start thinking, well, maybe I'm expecting too much from somebody that I've never met. And he's over there hitting balls, and he's by himself, and he's talking, he's turning around, and he's laughing, and man, <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, yeah. Hey, right here like this, man. He's trying to change everybody's grip. And then he looks up and he goes, hey, my man. Woo, your mama <laughs> something on that show, man. And I was like, <laughs> And then we, he, and what was he wearing? A red shirt and black pants. Yeah, the difference is, you know, Lee's pants, you could iron them in a toaster. <laughs> you know, 38, 24. Mm -hmm. So we're, they took a picture of us from behind and we were walking in our matching outfits in on the same step on the same foot. And uh, he took off right after, got his number and I was driving home and I was like, wow, man, well, what was, you know, and I got back and Ann said, how was it? And I said, it's the first day of my life that I didn't want the sun to go down. And she goes, <laughs> great and spun around and walked out. I thought she thought I was going to say the birth of my child or our wedding. No. <laughs> well, you know, I, I can see 
uh, him and you because, you know, Lee would always talk to the locker room attendant and the guy who was doing your shoe. I mean, and you're always the same. You know, you go, yeah. it's, it's if you're not comfortable with the, you know, the, the high end country club member, but boy, you I mean, you really identify with the guys that, that work for them. Oh, I love those guys. You know, at Lakeside, I have my tournament there. I've had it there for 13, 14 years. And you know, after the after the tournament, you drink a little bit. A couple of years ago, they said, "Hey, they came up to me. They go, you know, you end, you, you do this every year, and you know we don't like it, and you still do it." I, I said, "What do I do? We tell you you can only have 140 players. You have 184 players. You do. You, we tell you that you know you can't be past 11, and you, every year you guys are past 11." I'm like, "So." Love the drink with Pesci. I tell Pesci, Pesci, Pesci gets me worked up. Hey, go tell him. Go tell him you're going to leave. Tell them to go F themselves. I, said, I, I go over and tell, get another margarita. I tell the bartender, you know what? I'm going to leave this place, man. I'm done. And he goes, they can't. I said, I'm, you, know, you know, respect. I'm going to leave. Go back. And I drink the margarita. And they go, Joe goes, look behind you. Look behind me. It's all of the staff that's that's Latino, like when like a pool cue. They're all like in a triangle, and then one says, "Por favor, Señor Lopez, no te vas." And they're like, "Don't leave." They're like, "Yeah, don't leave, don't leave." They're like, hey, "Everybody, don't leave." Ah, oh, so I, I end up staying. But you know, I always love the people that aren't afraid to work. You know, they if you if they do something and you you'll do it too. I think that's the common bonding thing that. I'm always more attracted to to the working class man than the country club guy. Let's do a little rapid fire, George. I do this in All my right. show uh, on Golf Channel. Uh, what's your current handicap? 10, 10.2. All right. What's the lowest you've been? I shot 78 in Las Vegas at Bally High. Um, should the oh. Astros give their World Series rings to the Dodgers? <laughs> Yeah, we'll just strip them for the diamonds, yes. Yeah. Um, you had a birthday last week in quarantine. How did you celebrate? I had mariachis in front of my yeah. house, six yeah. feet apart, and I had friends drive by. It was the first drive by in Los Angeles where no one was killed. <laughs> How many chihuahuas do you have? I have two here, but I've, I've rescued maybe 25 in the last seven years. you rescued them. That's so cool. I love that. <laughs> have you ever hung out with Snoop Dogg? Yes. We're, we're good, you know, close friends. But Snoop is always... <laughs> when I had my talk show, he came on. He was my... I called him my golden ticket. So he had this Lakers sweatsuit, and my wardrobe person says, Do you have a bottle of water? I'm like, yeah, yeah. Do you have a bottle of water? I go, what happened? So Tiffany fainted steaming Snoop's uh, Laker outfit that he was going to wear on the show because it had so much weed smell in it that as she was steaming it, it regenerated the smell. And she says, all I remember was just the lights falling back. Boom, it knocked her out. She's steaming the thing. It's like, she's just like... <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. George, thank you so much for joining me. Yeah. Get mine in my life. Absolutely. Parity is presented by Farmers Insurance.